Adaptation, a mechanism for survival, an obstacle to muscle response testing. The world of muscle response testing enters the matrix. Hello, my name is David Berglund. My paper and presentation is on improving the accuracy of manual muscle testing. To improve the accuracy, we first need to calibrate the device we are muscle testing, which is the client. Okay, we find a muscle that is going to be working normally, the normal inhibition and facilitation. Our first calibration test would be to put the palm over the middle of the skull and we're gonna muscle test. And we're gonna turn and put the back of our hand over and muscle test. And we're gonna find out what our result is. If it's, we don't get the positive result, we have to fix what we find. Next, we're gonna put our fingers on the bladder connection, our double bladder one connection, we're gonna muscle test and see what we find. If that's positive, we'll need to fix that. Next, we're gonna have the patient bite down on their teeth and we're gonna muscle test. If that needs to be fixed, we'll fix what we find there. Next, we're gonna bang on our patient and we're gonna test. If it's positive, we'll fix that. Next, we're gonna give the arm a tug and we're gonna test. If that's positive, we'll fix what we find. Our next calibration is we're going to place the back of our hand over the forehead and we're going to muscle test. If that's positive, we're going to fix what we find. Next, we'll be placing the center of the palm over the belly button and we're going to muscle test. If that's positive, we're going to fix what we find. We're going to switch over and place the other palm and we're going to test. And if that's positive, we're going to fix what we find. And once we've completed all the calibrations on our client, we'll be using the human biocomputer as portrayed by the Da Vinci man, and we'll log on and begin to surf the different files. Thank you.